Hello, this is Abby from ollieholly.com. Welcome to day 11 of my 12 days of appliques crochet along. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet this reindeer. Pause here to read through the materials you'll need to make this project. If you want to follow along with a written pattern, you'll find the printable PDF in my shop on ollieholly.com. The link will be in the description box down below. To receive future updates on new patterns, sign up for my newsletter through the link in the description box down below. To make the stitches easier to see on camera, I'll be using this beige and blue worsted weight yarn for the parts where I'm crocheting. To start, we're going to make the head of the reindeer. Starting with a slip knot of the main color on your hook. Chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five. When working into the chain, I like to work into the back bumps of the chain. So I'm going to flip my chain over to expose these back bumps. I'll be skipping the first chain from the hook, so that's this one right here. Then into the second chain, I'll be increasing. Then I'm going to be working two single crochet. Then into the final chain, I'll be working four single crochet. So skip the first chain and insert into the second. In this video, I'm going to be working the yarn under single crochet. So I'm going to be yarning under, which means I'm wrapping from the front to the back, pull a loop up. Then I'm going to yarn over, which means I'm wrapping my yarn from the back to the front. And I'm going to pull it through the two loops on my hook. Then insert back into the same bump and work another single crochet to increase. Then we're going to work two single crochet, so that's one into each of the next two. So one, and two. Into the final chain, we're going to work four single crochet. So that's one, back into the same space, two, back into the same space, three, and back into the same space, four. Next, we're going to be working into the fronts of the chains. Because I worked into the back bumps, you can still see the fronts of the chain here and they look just like regular stitches. We're going to skip the first chain, which is the one we worked our single crochet for into. Instead, we're going to start in the second chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two chains, then increase in the last chain there. So I'm going to move the yarn tail from my slip knot out of the way. I'm going to insert into that second chain right there, making sure to go under both of those loops, then I'm picking up a single crochet into the next chain, another single crochet, then into that final chain we're going to work an increase. To finish off the first round, slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. So that's that stitch right there. For the rest of the rounds for the head, the first stitch should always be worked into the same stitch we slip stitched into in the previous round. So that's this stitch right here. To start round two, chain one, then work one single crochet. So remember we're going to be working into the same stitch we slip stitched into. So that's one. Then repeat the following three times. Alternate between working an increase and two single crochet. So to repeat that three times, it would be increase, one, one, 
increase one one increase one one then into the final two stitches we're going to increase then work one single crochet so increase into the next stitch then work two single crochet so that's one then into the next two then increase then two single crochet so one and two then increase and one and two then into the final two we're going to increase then work a single crochet into that final stitch. To finish up round two, slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. Our slip stitch from the previous round does not count as a stitch and neither does the chain one at the beginning of this round. So insert into that first stitch and work a slip stitch. To start round three, chain one. Then repeat the following twice. Alternate between working two single crochet, then increase. So that's single crochet, single crochet, increase, single crochet, single crochet, increase. So we'll just start with that for now. So that's one, two, increase in the next, Then one, two, increase. Then work four single crochet. So that's one, two, three, and four. Next, we're going to be repeating the following twice. Increase, then work two single crochet. So that's increase, single crochet, single crochet, increase, single crochet, single crochet. So into the next stitch, we're going to increase, then work one and two, then increase in the next, Then into the final two, work one single crochet into each stitch. Now to finish off round three, work a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. In round four, which is the final round of the head, start by chaining one. Then work three single crochet. So that's one. two, and three. Into the next stitch, single crochet three times. So that's one, insert back into the same stitch, two, back into the same stitch, three. Then we're going to work three single crochet. So that's one, two, and three. Next, we're going to make the first ear. Start off by making one single crochet into this next stitch here. Then chain three. So that's one, two, three. And just like I mentioned, I like to work into the back bumps when working into a chain. So I'm flipping the chain over. 
skip the first chain, then work one slip stitch into each of the remaining two chains. So I'm inserting into the second chain from my hook and working one slip stitch. Then into the next chain, one slip stitch. Then because I flipped my work to work into the chain, I'm going to flip it back to the correct orientation. And now I'm going to work one single crochet into the same stitch I worked the previous single crochet in. So that's the first ear. Next, I'm going to work five single crochet along the top of the head. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And at this point, I'm going to mark the first and the fifth stitch. These two stitches are going to be where we work the antlers out of. Next, work the other ear. So into the next stitch, work one single crochet. Chain three, so one, two, three. Then working into the back bumps, skip the first chain from the hook and work two slip stitch. So that's one, and two. Then flip your work back to the correct orientation, then work one single crochet back into the same stitch. And finally, we're going to continue around the rest of the face. So we're going to start off by working three single crochet. So that's one, two, and three. Then single crochet three times into the next stitch. So insert one, back into the same stitch, two, back into the same stitch, three. Then work two single crochet. So we're going to work one and one. So that's one and two. And to finish off this final round, we're going to work a single crochet into the slip stitch from the previous round. Cut the yarn tail, then pull your hook up to fasten off. Thread your yarn tail onto a darning needle and work a seamless join in the round. Do so by locating the second stitch of the round and inserting your needle into the stitch and out the back. Pull through. Then insert your needle back into the center of the final stitch and out the back. Pull through. Weave the yarn tails into the back of the head, then trim off any excess yarn. In the next part, I'll be showing you how to make the antlers. I'll be using this blue yarn because it shows up a little bit better on camera. We'll be working into one of the stitches marked on the head. I'll be inserting my hook into the back loops only of that stitch. So I'm inserting my hook through the center and out the back, like so. Then I'm just going to take my yarn and I'm going to wrap a loop around my hook. I'm not doing anything special with it, but I'm just holding it to keep it from unraveling. Then I'm going to pull a loop up. I'm going to hold down the yarn tail in the back like so. Then I'm going to chain five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. I'll once again be working into the back bumps, so I'm flipping the chain over. Skip the first chain from the hook, then work two slip stitch. So skip, one slip stitch, one slip stitch. So into the second chain from the hook, that's our first slip stitch, and 
into the next chain, work one more slip stitch. And now I'm going to mark the back bump I just worked into because we're going to be working into it two more times. And next I'm going to flip my work back to the original orientation and I'm going to chain three. So one, two, and three. Working into the back bumps, skip the first chain, then work two slip stitch. So that's one and two. Now I'm going to flip it back into the correct orientation again. And I'll be removing this stitch marker because we're going to be working into that chain space. So into that chain space, we're going to work a slip stitch. And because we're going to be working into it again, I'm going to mark it again. Then I'm going to chain three. So one, two, and three. Then working into the back bumps, I'll be skipping the first chain and working two slip stitch. So that's one. and two. Flip it back to the correct orientation and I'm going to remove my stitch marker then work one last slip stitch into that chain space. Into the remaining two chains from when we worked our chain five at the beginning, work one slip stitch into each chain. And as you can see, it can be a little tight to work into. So just do your best to wriggle your hook into the bump. So that's one. And two. And now I'm going to flip my work back so that the front is facing me. Then I'm going to slip stitch into that back loop that we chained five out of. So insert and work a slip stitch. Cut the working end of your yarn and pull your hook up to fasten off. Repeat in the other stitch marker for the other antler. If you need to rewatch this section, head over to this timestamp. If not, pause here to work the other antler. I've pre-made this other one in the original yarn and colors to show you the rest of the steps for this applique. Weave the tails from the antler into the back of the head. If you're having a hard time pulling your needle through, a pair of pliers can help. Trim off the extra yarn tails, then repeat with the other antler. To even out the stitch and flatten the applique, we're going to block it. To do so, fully saturate your applique in some cool water. Squeeze out any excess water, then press down on a washcloth to wick out excess moisture. Pin your applique to the blocking board, using as many pins as you want to shape the face. Take note to pin the antlers and ears out to make them look sharper. Set your applique aside and allow it to dry fully. Next, let's work on the nose. And if you're making your applique with the sock weight yarn, you're going to be making the nose with embroidery floss and a 1.75 millimeter crochet hook. I've already made one for the smaller applique I made, but to make it easier to see on camera, I'm going to be using some sock weight yarn to show you the nose. To start, make a magic circle. If you need to see the magic circle worked a little slower, I have a more dedicated video tutorial and I'll link it in the description box down below. Into the magic circle, start by working a single crochet. Then make two half double crochet. So that's one and two, then two single crochet. So that's one 
and two, two half double crochet. So that's one, two, then finally work one single crochet. Pull on the yarn tail from the magic circle to close the center circle up fully. Cut the yarn tail and fasten off. Thread your tail onto a needle and work a seamless join in the round. Do so by locating the second stitch of the round, inserting your needle into the stitch and out the back, pull through. Then insert your needle back into the center of the final stitch and out the back, pull through. To attach the nose to the face, I'm going to be doing a combination of sewing and gluing. Sew each tail into the face, directly below where they are on the nose. Tie a tight double knot in the back of the head with both tails, then trim off any excess floss. Using fabric glue, glue the parts of the nose that are not sewn down. Press the nose down and allow the glue to dry before continuing on with embroidery. Using three out of six strands of black embroidery floss, embroider the eyes one or two stitches above the nose to either sides of the nose between rounds two and three of the face. Tie a tight double knot in the back, then trim off any excess floss. Using three out of six strands of pink embroidery floss, embroider two lines of blush below the eyes to each side of the cheeks. Tie a tight double knot in the back, then trim off the extra floss. I'll be turning my reindeer into an ornament, so I'm gluing this loop of yarn to the back of the head. Allow this to dry slightly before gluing the applique to the felt. Allow the glue to dry for a couple hours before cutting the applique out of the felt. If you like this video, you'll probably like a few of my other videos too. Please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!